Cotton can, uh, is generally planted uh, on the Texas High Plains beginning in early May and can run as late as uh, the middle of June. Uh, growth and development wise, once the cotton emerges in five to seven days, it will open the cotyledons another uh, few days. The first true leaf will put on and then there's about three days between leaves. So thrips are a problem up to the fourth, maybe fifth true leaf stage, and uh, which is about two to three weeks. They, uh, once cotton is past the fourth, fifth true leaf stage, the cotton plant grows so quickly that uh, thrips damage to leaves uh, becomes uh, insignificant to the growth of the cotton plant is not a problem. Okay, this is a, a, an obsolete race stock that's being tested. And if you see this plant is, is undamaged by thrips, it's been treated with insecticide to compare to damaged plants. You'll notice that the leaves are fully formed, not cupped. You really can't see any damage. And it'll be a lot easier to see why these leaves are undamaged when we move on to uh, damaged plants. This is a plant of the same race stock with uh, moderate thrips damage. Uh, if you see here the leaf, the first true leaf, it's in temporal synchrony with the other plant that's treated. The first true leaf has been damaged. It's smaller. You see the cupping on it, which uh, indicates thrips damage. Uh, the cotyledon or seed leaves are, have also been damaged, which you've noticed that they're smaller than the uh, uh, insecticide treated plant. Also the next emerging true leaf uh, is being damaged as we speak and it will never attain the size that it should. The third plant we're looking at is a plant with uh, more severe thrips damage. You notice again the uh, cotyledon or seed leaves are not as large. They have been uh, uh, essentially rasped on by the thrips with its mouth parts. The first true leaf is showing much more damage with cupping and if you look down inside, you can see the next emerging true leaf is has brown necrotic areas, and this leaf will probably, uh, once it grows out, will probably never attain anywhere near the size of a treated plant. The fourth plant we're looking at, uh, which of the same same cotton, shows very severe thrips damage. If you notice again, the size of the cotyledons have been reduced by damage and if you look the first true leaf is almost obliterated by damage and the second forming true leaf is nothing more than a little piece of necrotic tissue and probably will not come out at all. This is an example of a uh, cotton plant that is resistant to thrips. This plant has received no insecticide treatment. If you notice the leaves are relatively undamaged. Thrips are tiny, minute insects, difficult to see. Uh, counting visually in the field uh, can be ineffective just due to the fact that they're so difficult to see. Uh, there are other methods such as uh, tapping uh, the uh, cotton plant on a uh, white plate, uh, uh, paper plate, which will give you more thrips. Uh, visually sampling, you may find two, three, four. Some people are better at it. That's also a problem that uh, a sampling crew, uh, which oftentimes has inexperienced people on it, can uh, uh, get widely varying counts. In research, we use a washing method developed in uh, Georgia that uh, uh, is highly accurate. And uh, a plant where you might see three thrips by visual sampling eight thrips by sampling with a dinner plate, uh, you will find 30 to 40 thrips using the washing method, which is documented in the scientific literature.